Right, welcome to Ghana month and this is the month of March and uh, we have a lot of activities Absolutely. about our country that we will share traditionally and culturally to show our rich culture. Now, the Asantehini rules the largest tribe in Ghana, making him the most powerful traditional ruler. However, the Asante king dreads one of his chiefs, the Bantamahin, William Evans Inkum, delved into history to find the reasons. There are strict traditional rules for the Bantamahine whenever he has to appear before the Asantehine. He has to remove his regalia and be disarmed at a palace to be able to access the Otunfo. The big question is, why is it that any time the Bantamahine appeared before the Santahine at any function, he has to be stripped off his regalia. A cultural historian, Safo Kantanka has been studying the evolution of the Asante kingdom. Bantamahine of Kumasi, one of the, one of the sub-states of Kumasi is Bantama. And the most important because uh, after the Asantehine, within the Kumasi states, the next in command is Bantamahine. The Bantamahine, the greatest warrior of all time, was made the major general and commanded forces for the first Asantehine. Bantamahine is so important. And because uh, he controls a lot of men, uh, military men, uh, it is believed that there should be some checks on him. History has it that the Bantamahine once attempted to stage a palace coup. So other uh, states have been uh, put aside to always check Bantamahine when he's getting closer to the king of Ashanti. The fear is that uh, the, uh, there is the tendency of uh, maybe he's staging a coup because history has told us that it has happened before. The story might be old, but the scar is like the stripes of the leopard. Anytime you are at the Mensha Palace, you may want to observe how the Bantamahine is received by the Asantehine. 